Get up, raise the glass, get on your feet. We're gonna make a toast to Alexander Keat. He was brought up to the barley and the hops and spent his life brewing his beer. Born in Scotland in the Highland by way back to 1795. Landed in Halifax, brewing his beer. Before he even knows he's a Halifax mayor. Get up, raise the no, glass. No, don't do it at all. Hi, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the Whiskey Heathens World Headquarters right here in Fort McMurray, Alberta, where it's always five o'clock. Yeah. And we're exploring more Canadian stuff. In mm -hmm. fact, mm -hmm. we're going to the East Coast, Nova Scotia. Yeah. And if you haven't done so already, go ahead and hit that like button, folks. Yeah. Subscribe. So subscribe. All that good stuff. Well, I'll, pour that. That. I'll tell you what we got going on. We like to do this around here so everybody gets the same pour. We're celebrating two centuries. That's 200 years. Wow. <clears throat> but why change a recipe that is 200 years old? Many moons ago, in the magical hills of Cape Breton, several batches of Alexander Keith's IPA were distilled, placed in oak barrels, and tucked in a corner at Glenora Distillery. After years of quietly maturing, it garnered a wonderful taste sensation of malted barley that was enhanced by the spring waters that flow around the apple trees through the highlands. Okay. The end result is a smooth whiskey with notes of butterscotch, cream, and honey, and a rounded, lingering, smooth finish. Interesting. Nothing else to tell you. Aged 18 years, small batch, 43%, single malt whiskey, handmade in Nova Scotia. Single malt? Aged 18 years. Yep. Very cool. 18 years old. 18 year old Canadian whiskey yeah. aged in beer barrels. I mean, Canadian malt as well. We've had some pretty fantastic beer barrel aged whiskeys lately. So I'm excited to try this. Alexander Keats, pretty uh, obvious staple for uh, beer drinkers on the East Coast of Canada. It was my go-to beer when I started drinking at 19. I, did I not didn't want to drink Canadian. I did not this. care for it when I was young. Yeah? Yeah, but my uh, my palate has developed, and now I'm sure I could choke down a Alexander Keith. I don't think I've had a Keith in probably 15 years, so this is going to be interesting. Know. It's been quite a while for me, too. I just, uh, last one I had was when I did the B-roll a couple weeks ago. Cool. We're going we, we to get the beer flavor going first, then? Yeah, beer. Okay. We got whiskey. It smells like beer. Just joking, I'm not going to pour them together yet, but I no. will pour them we'll try the beer. at some point. Yeah, beer first. We just got samples of beer, because this is not a beer show. Let's get my memory jacked again. Just get the palate going. Mm. Oh, that's like... I uh, I remember why I don't drink it anymore. Light. That's insanely light. It's, um, it to, to me, it's just not great beer, that's all. Um, Very light beer. Yeah, it's pretty standard uh, new drinker beer right there. Yep. And I get it. Cool. I agree. I'm hoping that some of those weird notes in the background is going to transfer to the whiskey. Let's find out. Shall we? Shall we? We shall. 18-year-old whiskey finished for, quote, years. Years. So minimum two. And Keith's barrels. Two, at least. And now Keith's is in the whiskey barrel, and it's being released in 2022, this year. Wow. Rogue did that with their dad. Yeah. dad. That's cool. So I'd be excited to I try and side by side again. Yeah, recap when that happens. Um, wow. it's, uh, it comes on strong. To me, this smells wow. like the aftertaste of the beer. That's neat. It, and there's a touch of licorice in there. I it smells too. hotter than 43. See, yeah, I, I, I would disagree. Yeah? Yep. Yeah, I think it. Um, I think it's very soft, light, vibrant wow. notes of like... Typical for this distillery, tea. I always think tea leaves. Yeah, like black tea? Black tea, oolong, yeah. Hmm. Let's give her a tasty poo, shall we? Oh, we shall. Mm. Very flavorful. Very soft. Mm. That is delightful. Yep. Very soft. Uh, full bodied. Wow. Um. <laughs> I get what they're saying with that honey and cream. I don't really get mm. butterscotch, but uh, I do. Honey, I'm totally getting like like a, a very light butterscotch, very soft butterscotch. Not like you're gonna find in like those sherry bombs and stuff. 
I get honey and I get creaminess. Me too, I get the honey, very creamy, I agree as well. For Canadian whiskey? Quite good, right? Um, mm -hmm. Near the gods, no mere mortal shall approach. It's Ooh. quite nice. Yeah, it's really good. Fun story. Oh, my favorite kind. About this whiskey. Um, I found it uh, very recently <laughs> and it was on a yeah. very good sale. Mm -hmm. So it was on sale. What do you want? Yeah, I want to lose money here. <laughs> and I, if I recall, when I first heard it announced, because yes. I like Canadian stuff, yeah. I messaged you and said, hey, we should maybe do this. And I, I think I'm quoting verbatim. Fuck that shit. <laughs> yes. Now that sounds that was because like it was something like I would say over two hundred dollars. Yes, it was. It was. So, it was over two hundred. I did not pay anywhere near two hundred dollars for this. Again, it was on a really righteous sale around uh, Christmas, so I took advantage of that. I almost think Ty and I walked by it in a store. We have a couple times actually. Yeah, and and I was like, nah, fuck that shit, man. I ain't got no interest. In that. Yeah, Glenn Breton's got a really cool story, and we'll learn more about them in another episode we will. featuring more. Glen Breton stuff. Correct. With the Glenora Distillery. Yes, but, please. But uh, this, I actually really like this. It's quite nice, right? I don't really care for the I was going to say, what do you like better, the beer or the single malt? I could, oh, I could no easily comparison. choose. Beer. Meh. I don't know if you know this. I'm a big beer fan. I did know. And I've been on a pretty huge stout kick lately. I've actually seen your shower beers. Yeah, yeah. You can yeah. find them on Instagram with the, the name there. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. I... Don't care for that beer, but this, hmm, this I care for. This I is agree. really good. Yep, this is quite tasty. Um, what piqued my interest as well is the Lagavulin, the Lagavulin Offerman in the Guinness casks. Yeah, that was fantastic. That was fantastic. I loved that whiskey. I thought it was going to be hype, and it was anything but. It was quite delicious. So finally, I opened up and I was like, you know what? This is on sale. Yes, now is the time to try it. And I wasn't, uh, I wasn't upset. It's weird to think that this influences the whiskey to make this because this doesn't taste like this at all. Yeah, it brings out such different notes. So maybe the beer. And I'm very happy with it. Yeah, the beer that's finished in this cask could probably be fantastic. It might be, and I will definitely try it. Yeah, me too. I'm very excited for that. Well, it's going to be really fun. Folks, this is over $200 to purchase in the store. Normally when it's not on sale. I would not buy it for $210. And that's Alberta. God knows how much it costs somewhere else. Yeah. But that's... for what I paid, which was $150, I'm not mad. So it's worth $150. It's an 18-year-old Canadian whiskey finished in a pivotal Canadian beer cask. So, yeah, it's worth it just for the, just, you know, I'm Canadian, you know? It's really nice. It's nice. I really at 150, 160 bucks. It's stretching, but I ain't mad. And I, I will finish it. As you see, I've been enjoying. Under ten dollars a year. Yeah. Someone who, uh, someone who comes by and really loves Keith, so I'll be like, "Yo, want to try the single malt finishing Keith?" And that could be their bridge into single malts, right? Maybe. It's yeah. always what it takes, right? Just a little, little you nudge. Find in the, the right, right step. That's all you need. Well, well, welcome. Well, it's yummy. Yeah, I like it. Yep, quite tasty. Clears to Glenora, Glen mm. Breton. Glenora, yeah. Cheers to you, brother. Cheers, Cheers to you, heathens. Cheers all. Keith's. Oh. Yeah, Keith's. I mean, you, you keep doing you. Yeah, man. I mean, <laughs> if it's working, do it. Fuck. I'm sorry. Now, uh, let me just explain what just happened. We've been drinking today. <laughs> <laughs> this is not our yeah. first episode today. It never is. <laughs> A yeah. little, little uh, BTS, a little behind the scenes inside baseball. Yeah. We normally drink a bunch when we talk about this stuff before we, we get started. We do. We try not to slur our speech, but sometimes we slur our speech. Sometimes we drop glasses. It didn't shatter, so that's good. I this mean, time. that's a bonus. Yeah, it usually shatters, but uh, we're good. Okay. <laughs> we'll see you guys later. Bye, everybody. Bye. Get up, raise the glass, get on your feet. We're going to make a toast to Alexander Keith. Brought up through the barley and the hops, and spinning like brewing his beer. And there's a great big party on the house.